Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for November 3rd, 2015. We're going to have high pressure control of our weather for each of the next two days. That's going to allow for temperatures to be uh, very much above normal. Matter of fact, we're talking about uh, generally uh, between 10 and 15 degrees above what is considered to be normal for this time of year. And that's going to be uh, for both today and Wednesday. As we move a little bit forward here, we're going to have to see high pressure right over top of our area here. Uh, both days. It's going to start slipping off to the east here as we get into later Wednesday and into Thursday. And that's going to be important because the next, uh, once it does so, and you have high pressure off to the east, there's some models uh, indicating that around the periphery of this high pressure, which is all this motion, this little bit of moisture that's down here to our south, is going to start rotating around the periphery of the high pressure and kind of come in through here like this. Uh, it's not a lot. There's not a lot of precipitation shown, but uh, some of the ensemble guidance, uh, the, some of the ensemble guidance has it, and some of the uh, and most models have, and most of the operational models have it. So it's kind of perplexing of a situation. It's very hard to nail something like this down. I mean, this is very light, and uh, you can see it just rotating around the high here. So it's not. Uh, there's no really. Uh, you know, low pressure system driving this or really bringing this through. So it's a very tough call. We're going to allow for an isolated shower here on uh, Thursday, especially later in the day on Thursday. Hit or miss, uh, who knows, uh, you know, where here. It's just kind of like one of the very uh, tricky situations that you really can't nail down until we get into uh, the short range here. Uh, going a little bit further from this point here, Friday looks okay, at least to start, and then uh, clouds are going to increase later in the day. We have the opportunity for a shower along a cold front. You can see where this cold front is pretty clearly here on this image here. This is before it comes through. Here's your cold front, and then the uh, low pressure is off up to the north here. Uh, best four seasons will be farther the north, so most of the precipitation will be light and uh, to the our, our favor of our uh, northeastern PA and central PA. Because the very next frame after this point, this is looking at uh, Friday evening, very next frame after this point, uh, you see it's almost almost a dead deal here This in the evening here. Again, it's just another isolated shower chance. That's about it. And then as cold front moves through, some models were indicating this is going to get hung up and, and stall. Does not look like that's going to be the case now. It looks like it clears our coverage area completely, and that's aided by high pressure moving in here behind it for the weekend. This is for Saturday, uh, Saturday into Sunday. We're expecting some uh, so this high pressure that's sitting over the Ohio Valley right here. Big H I can draw right here over the Ohio Valley. This is going to swing eastward, and it's going to be right over top of our coverage area here for Saturday and Sunday. One of the things we're going to be going into is a progressive pattern. So when I talk about progressive, I mean everything moves along very quickly. There's no uh, nothing hanging around very long. So if you don't like the weather for for a couple days, um, you know if you if you don't like the cold, just wait to, uh, two days or so, and it'll be back warm again. Or if you don't like the warm, it'll it'll come back to cold again. You don't see. Uh, a lot of the same same things going on here. All the systems that come in here will be quick in and out. And that's what we're going to be seeing for quite some time, I think, uh, just because we're getting in a, in a progressive pattern, upper air pattern. So uh, those, although we get into this weekend here and uh, it gets cooler, I do think we warm up after we get, again, once we go into early next week. So whatever short range uh, weekend shot of cool air that we get will be in and out just as quickly as it arrives. So if you don't like the uh, like the, what you have one day, just wait another day and you'll have something completely different, it seems. Nothing's really going to be hanging around for a while uh, because of that fast Pacific jet and uh, the regressive flow from west to east across the country. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martridge, and that is your outlook for November 3rd, 2015. Have a great Tuesday.